Coffee with Kim friends. I'm bringing you this live video today because um, I'm just feeling inspired. This morning was our live Coffee with Kim event and we talked about living your best life. I still feel a little choked up by some of the profound things that women shared, some of the personal things that women shared with me and with, with each other today about living their best life. I also did a call at one o'clock and again just felt so inspired and so touched and moved by how deeply women want this and how willing they are to do the hard work to get this. And um, one thing that really stuck out to me today is that women really kind of do fall for the um, lie that living your best life is like an event that's going to happen at some point. Like we're going to do A through Z and all of a sudden that's going to mean we're living our best life. And I wanted to reach out to some of you who maybe weren't there or didn't read my emails and tell you today that living your best life is not an event that's going to happen at some point. Living your best life is possible today. It's possible right now. Living your best life is a decision that you make every single day. And you can do that right now, wherever you are, by committing to becoming the best you, the you that God created you to be, by committing to that journey, by learning, um, by choosing love in your life, by choosing to use your gifts and your talents for good, um, by pursuing your purpose and passion, you're living your best life. And uh, I want you to know that you can do all those things today. And if today it's a terrible, horrible day and everything is going wrong, then maybe for you today living your best life is getting through all that with grace and getting through all that with a little faith and without quitting or giving up or, um, you know, cursing the world. So I want you to know today you can live your best life. It's not about arriving and doing one big huge thing that you're not ready to do yet. It's about taking one small step toward becoming who God made you to be. And as we were talking today about being created for greatness, um, I was telling the ladies what they were created for and all the good things that God created them for. But I, I made this little list this morning that I want to read to you about um, this topic and about what we were created for. As I was getting ready this morning for the event, I thought about, you know, how can I convince women that they were created for so much more and that they were created for greatness and glory and to be overcomers and um, to be light in this dark world and to bring wisdom where there is confusion or um, foolishness. And I thought for a moment I was inspired and I thought, you know what, maybe it would be easier for you to understand what you weren't created for. And so right now I'm going to share with you a few things that you were not created for. You were not made for fear. You were not made for defeat. You were absolutely not made for people pleasing. I want you to understand right now, you were not made to please people. You were made to love them, but sometimes people aren't going to like how your love looks. They're not going to like it when your love says no, because saying yes would not be in their best interest. That's what love is. Love does what's best for a person, not what feels best for a person. And you weren't made to make everybody feel good. You were made to please God, and when pleasing Him upsets people, you're doing something for His glory and for their good and for your own good. You were not made for people pleasing. I could say it over and over and over. I heard somebody recently call it the disease of pleasing, and I hope you don't suffer from it because I will tell you right now, that is not your best life. You were ma not made for mediocrity. You were not made to live a mediocre life. You were made for greatness. It's in you. It's in your DNA. You were not made for merely survival. You were made to thrive. You were not made for despair. You were made for hope. And you were not made for insecurity. You were made to be secure and whole and to know who you are and to walk in that. And last but not least, one of our lovely ladies this morning added this, you were not made for grief. 
You were not made to spend your life grieving. You were made for joy. And so today, I just want to wish you joy. I want to pray peace in your life, clarity, not confusion. I pray that you would take your next step and that you would make forward motions toward living your best life. And if today living your best life just means you might owe someone an apology and you go give it, then you go give it. And you go give your best life your best shot. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.